naughty, naughty. You teasing me, you naughty, naughty. Oh, there's this purple lady, I'm she's John so Cena. great. I know what we're gonna do today. Hello, Allison, thank you so much for the raid. What the heck? And all the sweet messages. Hello, raiders. Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you, Allison. Allison raids in and then mods. Hi, my name is Olive. My pronouns are she, her, if you don't know me. Uh, thank you, Allison and friends for giving me such nice messages. What the heck? Um, let me say hello from everybody from the raid. Marissa, Ali, Allison. Is it Cal, Mads, Mashi, Andy, and Danny, and Coffee Bean? Hello, friends. Hi, hi Michelle. Hi, Kits. Hi, Fanny. Hi, Cass. Hello. Welcome in. Um, H. Peds. Hello. Hello. Oh my God. Hi, Cody. Okay, it's <laughs> hi, Banana Sunflower. Oh, hi, Denise. Oh my God. So many friends. Hello. Hello. Hi, Lisa. Um, hi, Noel. Hello. Hello. Hi, Madeline Jane. What the heck? Um, Kate Crossing, Modern Valentine. Hi, Quinn, welcome in. 
Hi, Mashi. Oh my gosh. Houseplant girl. Hello. Keep remodeling my island during the stream. Nice. Hello, hello. Um, Allison, thank you seriously so much for raiding. If you gotta go do whatever you need to do, raid and leave, work on homework, um, work, please do it. Oh my god, Harry's peed. Hey! <laughs> Happy nine months, Olive. Olive Ja love. Thank you so much for the nine months, Bailey. How have you been? What the heck? And Coffee Bean! Thank you so much. Let's go. I need these emotes, <laughs> Olive Ja Luck. Coffee Bean, thank you so much for the two months. I really do appreciate that. You subbed once and you came back and resub, so I really appreciate that. And Harry's Bean, thank you for the nine months. What the heck? Hey, Draco, welcome in. And hi, Bree. Hi, L. Hi, Tyler. Hi. Um, hi, Luke. Hi, Egg. Hello, hello. Um, I really appreciate everybody coming in and giving me such sweet messages. I really do appreciate it. I, I miss you guys, even though I only, I only streamed on Tuesday, but it feels like it's been a very long week. Your li uh, Lily plush is so cute. She's my fave ever. I hate to break it to you. It's not Lily, it's Henry. I hope you like Henry too. It kind of does look like Lily though, but it, it's Henry. <laughs> they do have a Lily plush though. Um, and thank you everybody for the host. If you want to host me, I really do appreciate it. Um, Bree, Denise, Hutch, Luke, Kate, Drago, Sophie, Marissa, Katie, Ali, Allison, Cody, Egg, Danny, Fanny, Danny, Fanny, <laughs> um, Cal, Lisa, and Matt, thank you so much. Rob, thank you so much for the host. Also, there's so many um, other amazing streamers here, so make sure to go check them out if they get a shout out. Um, and hi, Jay, welcome in. I see it now. Um, I've been working on so, so much. Anytime I get to catch a stream, I'm so sorry. I know I stream during the day, so a lot of people who have to go back into a work or, you know, don't work from home, don't get to watch my streams. That's why I really, I've, I've always gone back and forth. I'm like, should I add like a Saturday or Sunday stream to my schedule? But I don't know. I'm like, so like, I like my schedule. <laughs> why are you running? Um, are you and running? thank you, Michelle and Harry Peen, Coffee, so much for hosting me. I really do appreciate it. Rope and Gal, thank you so much for hosting. All of it dark. I am doing a later stream next Friday. I just bought two dresses that blew my budget, but I get paid tomorrow, so I tell myself it's okay. Treat yourself. Kids, thank you so much for hosting. Um, Al what was up, Allison? Up? What were you up in your stream this morning? <laughs> um, you like my new shirt though? Chris um gifted this me off of my wish list, and I'm obsessed with it. I love this top. I I love how it fits. Um, I just love the graphic on it. <laughs> I really, really like it. A Sunday stream. We'll see about that. Um, I had different plans for today. I was supposed to play Stardew, but I kind of want to play Animal Crossing and just like chill out. Stardew can sometimes... Is my music too loud? Stardew can sometimes like stress me out and like I'm not really in the mood to play Stardew. It depends. So we're gonna we're gonna do a happy home paradise build because hello, this is going on tomorrow and I need to do the challenge myself myself because I never got to it. So we're gonna do it today. I also auto filled. So we're gonna predict who's in my plot. So yeah, I auto-filled. <laughs> Cause like I couldn't find Avery. So I just said, screw it, let's auto-fill. So we're be gonna be doing the Happy Home Paradise Challenge. And then once we're done with that, maybe we start my castle build or do some like other decorating around my island. But I don't know how long I'm gonna be streaming for. I literally hate auto-fill. <laughs> I have amiibo, so I, we're just gonna amiibo out the auto-fill. So it would be just for fun. But the Happy Home Paradise Challenge, if you don't know it, it is for special NPCs. So like KK Slider, villagers, I can't like move to your island. Um, I will be doing that tour tomorrow. So if you wanna participate and you want me to tour your build, you just need to post your RA code in our Discord. I, there's quite a few in there, I'm really excited. 
gonna turn this down a little bit. But um, I was surprised to see how many people participated because I know a lot of people don't have access to Amiibos. So I'm really, really excited for everybody who do, did participate, so thank you. And I will be an Isabel cosplay tomorrow. I don't even know how I'm gonna do my hair yet, but... <laughs> I was gonna try to curl it, but I don't know how to curl my hair, so I'll figure it out. <laughs> Um, um, also banana, banana mister and Lil, little Morgan, thank you for those follows, and Kate Long, a coconut crossing, um, Ninai Kairuo, I'm so sorry I'm butchering these, Cal and Oscar, thank you so much for following me, I really do appreciate it, and if anybody, um, is new from the Allison Raid, make sure if you want to tell me your nickname, or your pronouns, um, I can always make a note of it, and I do have the pronoun extension turned on. I'm in Eastern Time Zone. I know, I forgot to write Eastern Time Zone on my flyer, that was my bad. But I'm Eastern Time Zone, so it'll be the same time it is today, tomorrow. It's the same exact time. Also, I know this sounds really silly, but I figured out how to use my stream deck yesterday, and I didn't know I could do scenes like this. <laughs> Alex! Our table! It's broken! Alex, thank you so much. For the 101 biddies, I really appreciate that. And it looks like Cozy Woods wants to do the Powerpuff Girl hat, I can do that. Is it gonna mess up my hair? Maybe. Does this look silly? That works. I feel like my camera focuses on my hat and doesn't focus on my face when Happy I wear this bucket hat. Jan. Come on, Jan. Oh, Jan. Jan. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Welcome in. Um, rip the table. Sky, thank you. Sky, thank you so much for the 101 biddies. My camera. Oh, no. Here, that's better. That's better. Sky, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I really appreciate it. Stop being so selfish, Dan. Mama Llama, thank you for the host. Feel free to start the stream over. I missed a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can call me Coffee. Okay, sounds good. I'll call you Coffee. Let thank you for letting me know. Because tonight will be the Rob. night that I will call for you over again. Don't need to change my mind. No, I won't live to see another day. Thank you so much. Rob, thank you so much for the six community subs. What the heck? That was so sweet of you. Oh no, not the hype train. <laughs> if you just gotta get to sub from Call Me Rob, make sure you go give him a big hug, a big thank you. I saw it also went to some familiar faces, so that's really awesome. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, thank you. You like that alert? Have you never seen that, Tyler? Those are actual real photos of me. It was from my, like, I think my one year partner anniversary and I just never took the alert down. <laughs> you know, alerts never get old. <laughs> yeah, those were photos of me. I swear they, they're just not like random pictures of, you know, emo girls. <laughs> those were me. I need well, Scissor. Roping Gal, thank you so much for the 101 bits. What the heck? And hi, Mickey! Oh no! <laughs> Our table! It's broken! It's broken. It's broken. Well, the table. Mickey, oh. thank you so much. Oopsie, ha ha, he he ha ha, oopsie, I dropped these, so sorry. <laughs> Oopsies. Ha ha, he he. <laughs> thank you, y'all. Mickey, thank you so much for the 101 bits, breaking that table, and coffee, thank you for the 130 bits, thank you so much, thank you for the hype train too, confession, I'm selfish and love embarrassing all of my gifts and JK kind of, I mean, that's the whole point, it was to embarrass me, so I give you permission, I feel like it's a good deal, right, I need to have more embarrassing alerts, <laughs> My voice is still messed well, up from being sick. 
Woog, gotta break a table for this lol. Olivealism, Ty for being such a light in my life. Aww. This stream today instantly helped me calm down. Woog, thank you so much for the kind words. You're gonna make me cry. Thank you so much for the 101 bits. I freaking love you, Luke. I love you. Thank you, friend. Please don't embarrass me. Where's my Molly? I don't know what can get more embarrassing than that, though. But that's the thing with the internet. I'm not, like, afraid to embarrass myself. I've done some. I know, Rob, you're a little bit more new to the community, but I've done some quite embarrassing things on live stream. Like, I think the cha-cha slide was the worst thing. Or, like, the flossing tutorial. <laughs> oh, no! Our table! Banana! Well, the table Banana, thank you. Breaking another table for the queen. Oh. Ja, hug olive, ja, hug olive, ja, period. Banana, thank you so much for the 101 biddies. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And Ali, thank you for the hug. Jay, thank you for the host. Someone get Henry cooking e No. <laughs> no. Search his Fluffer Floss tutorial. I was going through my profile a couple days ago and like my top clips, I think a lot of them are me flossing. And I'm like, that's great. They're all like really embarrassing clips, but it's okay. As long as y'all don't get secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> Shut the hell up, bitch. <laughs> David kiss David thick David thick David thick David kiss David kiss David thick David kiss David kiss David thick David kiss Dan thank you so much for the 420 bits um the Dr. Phil alert <clears throat> what are you saying what about we also have Dan here so that's pretty embarrassing that's true Dan just adds to the layer of embarrassment these alerts yeah we have some really cursed alerts here it's not a Thursday unless Dr. Phil. You know what's funny? I was watching a, docu a documentary. Um, the one about the football player who gets catfished on Netflix and Dr. Phil's on it. I seriously, when I saw Dr. Phil on it, I about like fell over. I was like, Dr. Phil's in this documentary. I was like, my community would would um, holler about that. Hey, Sandpip, well, welcome in, how are you doing? And Mr. C, hi, how are you? Make sure to go check out my friend, Mr. C, amazing creator. Oh. Let's go, Bree. Six months. She is the one named Sailor Moon. That Zoom meeting couldn't end soon enough. Now I can finally scream six months woo. Aww. Olive, I love you so, so much and I'm so glad I have been able to spend six months in the olive jar with you and everyone heart. Bree, thank you so, so much for the sweet words. I'm so happy I met you through this crazy Twitch world. Oh my goodness, and thank you so much for subbing for half a year. Thank you, Bree. Make sure to go check out my bestie friend, Lunar Ghosties, amazing streamer. Such a kind soul. Thank you so much. Hey guys. <laughs> Alex, what are you doing? <laughs> Alex, thank you so much for gift subbing to Luna. Luna, I hope you enjoy your emotes from Alex and your ad free viewing. Thank you so much, Alex. And Girl Afraid, hello, welcome in. Dan, thank you for hosting. Hazelnut Suns, hello, hello. Welcome in, and Riley, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, thank you guys so much for all the love. Um, you don't know how much it really means to me. I really, it's, it's everything, so thank you. I love you guys so much. What the heck? So what are we doing today? We're, we're auto-filling. If you're just tuning in, we're, I auto-filled my plot, so we all get to go see who Talented, it is. Brilliant, Should we do a prediction? Amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, <laughs> name. never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. Should we, should we do a prediction? Like, ugly or cute? But this will determine what I think. So, like, you have to think of my perspective of what I like. Because if it's someone like no no offense barreled i'm gonna say ugly but i know there's some people here who like barreled 
So it's gonna be ugly or cute kind of situation. Not I'll invite to my island. We wanna do it? Let's see here. Campsite. Or no, autofill. Cute or ugly? Okay, I'm gonna set it up for five minutes, okay? Or smash or pass? Hmm. Okay, I like that more. <laughs> smash or pass? Okay. Are we ready? It's gonna be up for five minutes. Smash or pass? So this one's a little bit unpredictable. Like it's, you're going in really blind with this one. So um, there's no like, you know, well the odds are, I like your bucket. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Welcome in and hey snacks. Would you smash a cute villager? Yes. Well, it depends. It depends. <laughs> Tiana, thank you so much for the 69 bits. Thank you, thank you. And Cody, thank you so much for lurking. I love you. I may regret this. The real Audi. Hey, welcome in. How's it going? I just re realized we're not the same color. Wait, Mickey, I thought you were. You used to be pink, I thought. I'm going to say pass because Fifi said smash. <laughs> Lady Gaga? Chicken, oh, chicken window. Were you saying Lady Gaga because of the sound? I was like, wait, why are you saying Lady Gaga? I thought I missed something. <laughs> and Hazel Nutsons, thank you so much for hosting. I've been a bit reckless. You better think it's cutie patootie. I'm really hoping for Kat this stream. She's my baby. I did used to be pink, but I wanted to try out a nice bright blue sky. I feel that. I haven't changed my color. I feel like I can't change my color. Like, since since my name is Olive, I can't change my name to a non-olive color. That wouldn't make sense, right? I have to be green. How did you know I said smashy little stalker? <laughs> hey, Jordan. Thank you so much. Woo, seven months. Jordan, I can't believe you've been subbing to me for seven months. Thank you so much for all the support. What the heck? Also, um, Loop, Loop Coop Creates is also an amazing streamer, so make sure to go check him out. What the heck? Thank you, friend. And thank you for the hype train. Thank you. I don't think you can get away with another color. I think I used to maybe be pink. So if you don't know me, my brand nearly two years ago used to be all pink so i had like pink and purple lights behind me like i have my pink chair i had a pink headset all of my layouts were pink and then i was like well i was like wait a second you know that doesn't that kind of clashes with my branding the name's olive but everything's pink <laughs> so i changed it over i started to embrace it i was like you know what people may not like olives but I do. <laughs> um, do I go with gloom or against and hopefully get the point? What did gloom say? Or rotten or rotten gray? You could do, um, yeah, I could do a black olive for sure. Isn't there like purpley olives too? No pink olives. <laughs> What's your favorite color? I'm gonna say pink or green. <laughs> Um, yeah, sorry, pink or green. Okay, there's um, maybe two more minutes left. A minute and a half left on the prediction. A lot of passes. So you're all telling me I'm picky. Is that what you're saying? I'm picky. Your hat just made me feel things. Becca, <laughs> hi. You like my hat? I love the Powerpuff Girls. Wh who's everybody's favorite Powerpuff? Mine's Bubbles. I mean, obviously, I have the hair buns like Bubbles today. I'm literally matching Bubbles. I'm just staring at it, still trying to decide. You got 53 seconds left. Is this the Krusty Krab? No. no. This is Patrick. Hi, Thief. Bubbles, Buttercup, Girlfriend. I, I can see Buttercup for you. Buttercup is my spirit, my spirit animal. Um, I'm. I'm, wait, mine has always been bubbles. 
Mine used to be Bubbles, but the green girl's now my fave. I feel like growing up, I really liked Bubbles, but the more and more I liked Buttercup. Blossom, I've always been like, nothing to get against Blossom, but she's definitely the, my least favorite. It's the Pisces in me. Yeah, Bubbles is such a crybaby. Like, <laughs> and like the fact that she can talk to animals was always really cool to me. And she had her little cute stuffed animal that she would walk around with. I love it. Okay, predictions are up. <clears throat> okay, shall we um, dive in to see who I autofilled? Thank you everybody for stopping by so early. I really appreciate it and dealing with my sickness. I am still, like I tested negative um, on Monday, but um, it seems like I haven't been able to recover my voice yet. And I I hope it comes back. I really, I really do. What mic are you using? Um, there's a link to it. It's the Quad S HyperX. Go in. I'm here for the <laughs> lactose intolerant tag. I hate milk. <laughs> Finally, someone. You're the second person to notice that, Jen. Hi, Jen. Um, I don't hate milk. Okay, wait, I take that back. I don't drink milk, but I do love dairy, but I'm still lactose intolerant. But I'm glad you, it can be relatable. I was really hoping other people would start <laughs> using the lactose intolerant tag. I tried to look up to see if anybody else had it, but I didn't see anybody. Yeah, milk itself is kind of gross. Wait, why did I get any dialogue? Did, I didn't talk to Isabel. I might have to time travel again. Oh no, we're good. Maybe I've just played this day. You're the only one right now. <laughs> Remember the Dairy Queen night? I haven't gone back to Dairy Queen since. That was really, really bad. Cheese is too good, right? Milk hates me, same. <laughs> Sino! <laughs> I swear, Sino. I, I, if I could see a history of your gift subs, it's only to troll. <laughs> Thank you so much to, for gift subbing to Lactose Intolerant. Whoever you are, hope you enjoy your um, dairy-free emotes. I don't think there's anything dairy-free related in your ad-free viewing. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oh, did you, see no? And thank you, Sino, for breaking my my goal. If you want to pick out a headband for me to wear or have me pick it out, just let me know. Currently drinking coffee at 1.30 with oat milk. Yeah, I don't ever use real milk. I can't, literally. And I've been actually lactose intolerant since I was a child. It's not one of those things that I developed when I was an adult. I've been like this since I was like a kid. I'm a newbie, this is a lovely stream. Calling me for my stressful day. Thank you so much. Is it wild? Um. J uh, Jamar? I hope I'm saying that right. Or let me know what you prefer to go by, or if you just want to lurk, that's totally cool. This is perfect. Perfect. That perfect. thick milk. Perfect. I can't use real milk, it's so thick. I don't even remember what real milk tastes like. <laughs> Allie, what are you doing? Allie, save your money for TwitchCon. Save your money for TwitchCon. Thank you so much for gift subbing to I Hate Milk 69. <laughs> Do you think that these are real users? Like, can you can you give sub to people who don't have accounts? Wild Jam Art. Thank you so much for letting me know. I totally read that wrong. And that's also a cute name. I want to make note of it. Wild Jam Art. Chewy, thank you for that follow. Welcome in. Gifting a sub to I hate milk 69 is what I'm doing. <laughs> They're real users is mostly just all I get it. <laughs> the Reman Coney milk got milk. I'm proud to be lactose intolerant. I'm not going to let anybody shame me for being lactose intolerant. 
and also shame you for still eating dairy products. Is it gonna make my tummy hurt? Yes. Will I be happy while I'm eating it? Yes. Will I regret it later? Yes. Okay, are we ready to see who I auto-filled? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna look to see who it is. I'm gonna read the chat like we always do. And you're gonna tell me if you would smash or pass. And you can use the BTTV emote, so it's capitalized smash or capitalized pass. Rob! Rob! Thank you so much <laughs> for gift subbing to I Love Milk 69. It looks like there might be some type of feud between um, Rob and Allie. I love Milk 69. I hope I love Milk 69 and I hate Milk 69 come into my chat right now. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, Sino, did I did I miss your message? Streamer's choice. Thank you. I'll pick a headband after um I'm done wearing the hat. How long have I been wearing the hat for? Let's see here. I'll wear it for a couple more minutes. Cryptus and Coffee, hi, welcome in. Not the mel and hi, Alyssa. Welcome in, how you doing? Hi, friends. And um, D-Dumb, hello. Excited for tomorrow? Yes, I'll be in Isabel cosplay tomorrow. I, I'm really excited, but I'm also nervous. <laughs> Luke. What the heck? Thank you for so much for giving something to I hate milk a lot. Um, so we have I love milk 69, I hate milk 69, and I hate milk a lot. I hope you all enjoy your emotes. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. What is I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. What are these names? We just have a bunch of milk people come through. <gasps> Heather! Hi! Hi, Heather. Hi, all smiley face. Thank you so much for the 15 months. I hope you're doing well. Y'all, my friend Doctor Who, Heather, is a streamer, so make sure you go check them out. How have you been? Um, I played DVD last night. Have you been playing DVD? Imagine if the accounts that both live and hate the outcome all at once, a war will begin. <laughs> But thank you, Heather. I really appreciate it. I feel like I also need to be giving some shout outs because my, um, I haven't, I need to fix some of my auto shout outs. But let me make sure, um, let me give a, I'm going to give a shout out to Call Me Rob and Doctor Who Heather and Dramatic French Toast. So make sure to go check out all my friends at stream. So excited to see my build. I'm so excited for tomorrow. I'm so like honored that so many people participated. Yes, I'm gonna do the campsite right now. I'm so sorry. Okay, are we ready? Okay, I gotta, gotta make sure. So like we said before, tell me if you would smash or pass, okay? Okay, I've gotta really look over. Two, three, four. <laughs> I was about to click it, Ivy, hey. Hey Ivy, welcome in. Okay, are we ready? Okay. Smash or pass? Nobody spoil it. Did I click on it? Hello? Okay, and also you can't say what you voted for. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of passes. A lot of passes. Tough choice. Allie's saying smash, big pass. I don't even remember what they look like. Hey, Maddie, welcome in. Hello, hello. Okay, ready? I'm gonna look. Oh my gosh, so many responses. <laughs> Hi, Solitary, welcome in. Hello, Katie, did you gamble? I saw you, um, you got a lot of 
points taken away the other day. I hope you win your points back. Okay, ready? Bree. Is that the mouse? It's funny, weren't we just talking about like cheese? Brie cheese? She's a classy little lady. Let me look let me look her up. Oh, this is a tough one. Like, honestly? Okay, I'm gonna bring up her photo so y'all can see. Um, image. Honestly, Brie is kind of cute. Brie is kind of cute. The mouse is her pass. I don't know. I'm getting e-girl vibes, right? I don't think I've ever looked at Brie at a certain kind of light, but I don't know. She's kind of cute. I know people are going to try to sway me who said pass. If we were back in the Judy times, not and I did the Judy cosplay and I was in my smash or pass stream, I would have said spa smash. So I'm going to say smash. I'm going to say smash. That's my an that's my final answer. Okay, let's see who won points. Fifi with 78,000, Mad 66,000, Fifi with 42,000, Mrs. C with 35,000. Dang. Hello Katie 35,000. Dan, 35,000. Mashy lost 10,000. Banana Sunflower lost 30,000. <gasps> Gloom. Gloom, have you, are you okay? Gloom lost a lot of points. Gloom lost a lot of points. I'm sorry it wasn't, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't fast for you. I was gonna put Smash. Wow, that was a good one. Mo moment of silence for Gloom's points. I mean, Gloom has so many points. Gloom, are you? did you gamble all of your points? I had a feeling to go against Gloom today. I had to go with the gut. And it was, um, Smash. I feel like my music just got really soft. Let me fix it. Where's the push-up redemptions? That's your own channel. Okay, sorry, I thought my stream was delayed for a second. I think we're good. Never gonna die. Let's go, Morgan. Hey. <laughs> it hurts you. Morgan. Thank you so, so much for the year and a half. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> you like the That's my one year and a half alert. Thank you so much, Morgan, for all the support for the past year and a half. My goodness. Floss re redeem. <laughs> Thank you for the 42, Gloom. Gloom was just trying to be nice today and wanted to give away his points. <coughs> you should have a jumping jacks redeem. Are y'all trying to like put me to work or something? You trying to get me fit? I usually only do jumping jacks and floss for like special occasions, <laughs> but I'm so scared that like, I'd have like a jumping jack redemption and I'm like having like a really lazy day and I'm like, oh my God, I have to get up and do jumping jacks. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. 
Okay, a headband I can of my choice. You want me to grab kiwi? I can grab kiwi. Um, what should I wear today? What matches my outfit? We can do... We haven't done the frog one in a while. Or we can do the Joey one. Oh my god, I can't decide. Or the green one. I haven't... Okay, I don't think I've ever worn this headband, so we're gonna do this one because I'm indecisive. How about that? Okay, yeah, let me grab Kiwi. The Kirby headband, never! I never took off her um, tag. Do you ever do that sometimes with certain stuffed animals? You're like, I don't know, I don't feel like taking the tag off. I have a Kirby headband. Maybe I'll do this for special occasions. It looks like this, I bought it, and it's so obnoxious. Like, I honestly hate wearing it. I think I wore it for like two seconds on stream one time. Like, look at this thing. It looks like a Kirby crown. So it's not, it's not a part of the redemption. But maybe in the future it'll be for something else. Hey Lex, welcome in. That's a good hat. It's cute. I don't know, it makes me feel insecure so I don't like wearing it. But here is Kiwi. So it looks like Crippets, Cri Crippets and Coffee redeemed Cindafren cuddles. And this is Kiwi. She looks like Kitty. And if you use my code, you can get 10% off Cindafriend. And it's a really cool company. I've been with Cindafriend for about eight months now. It's been awesome. I wanna crochet her a sweater. <gasps> what, my stuffed animal? That would be so sweet. It looks like a curvy neck pillow. <laughs> when I go to TwitchCon when I fly, <laughs> this will be my um, airplane um, neck, neck pillow. <laughs> it really does though. Um, uh, Leah and Killa, thank you for those follows, welcome in. <laughs> What's that pillow you got there? <laughs> Oh, it's okay, Janelle. Thank you so much for lurking. Um, we auto-filled Brie if you missed it. Okay. So we're doing my Happy Home Paradise challenge. I haven't decided who I'm doing yet. I kind of wanted to pick somebody who hasn't been picked for my challenge yet. Hello? Why are you looking out the window? Yeah, I'm ready to work. She, how dare her not be at her keyboard? How how dare she take a break and look out the window? I don't know if I'm playing Stardew today. I kind of wanted to like, Stardew can be kind of stressful for me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna put Kitty down for a second. Um, and I just, and I'm kind of been far behind. I need to do my challenge, so we'll see. Kind of just wanted to have like a chill stream. Wardell needs a mustache? I mean, with that kind of nose, yeah, I can see that. Okay, so you're gonna help me out. Let's go through my NPCs. Nina, hey, welcome in. Okay. This is who I got. I'll do it this way. Y'all can't see this. Story time book? So I have Timmy, Tommy, Red, Wisp, Wilbur, Sable, CJ, Flick, KK, Tom Nook, um, Phoenix, Phoenix, am I saying that right? Porter, Leaf, Kix, or Reese. Oh, I got another, Isabel, Harvey, Joan, or Phyllis. Hmm, so we have, these are the choices. I kind of want to pick somebody nobody, nobody's done yet. 
We could do Porter. Has anybody done Porter in the Discord? We might have to double check our sources. Porter would run a train station, so that could be fun. Um, Goku, thank you so much for that follow. Porter or Phyllis? So Phyllis runs the post office at nighttime on the GameCube game. And I think the other games, but I know she's at least in population growing. So I would have to like maybe make like a post office. Or we could do leaf. Has anybody done leaf in the discord? Or we can make like a little plant shop. Oh, all you're saying leaf. I think somebody did leaf in the discord. Let me check. not saying that we can't do repeats, but I just thought I would do something different. I don't think I see anybody. Unless Fifi, who did you do? Fifi, did you do Leaf? Okay, I'm gonna do leave. You didn't do any of those? Sweet. Do a dispensary. Excuse me, what? Oh, okay. I thought I couldn't do it. Hey, Sarah, welcome in. How's it going? Okay, there we go. We also could have done Harvey. That could have been a fun one. But I feel like Harvey can go pretty cursed. Nickelodeon, thank you for that follow. Taco Bellman, hey, welcome in. What's your favorite thing to eat at Taco Bell? My favorite thing is the chicken quesadilla. Even though I don't eat there very often. I would say I eat at Taco Bell like once every few months. Steve Harvey is pretty cursed. A vacation, vacation home just for me? Let's do it. This is my first time ever doing an NPC vacation home. Like a special character. Steve Harvey and Animal Crossing win. I get to hold baby sloths and kangaroos. You do? That's so cool. What the heck? You know, I've never, oh my God, there's a whole party going on in the back. Do you see that? I've never really held like an exotic animal before. I got a 3DS in Seattle last Saturday and I ordered New Leaf on Amazon. Nice. Is this your first time playing New Leaf? I hope you have fun with it. So I, okay, so I speed ran Happy Home Paradise. I put everybody on the same plot. All 30 people, all 30 villagers are on the same plot. Besides Eloise, I was forced to put her here. But everybody else is on the same plot. Just so I can keep track of all of my my rejects of how poorly I did all of their houses. Okay, so let's figure out. You didn't know you could do that? Apparently, you can put all 30. You can put as many as you want down on one plot. I definitely feel like we should put leaf with a bunch of trees. These aren't really screaming anything to me. Like this would be a good one. We, we gotta give Leaf like enough room to maintain like flowers. Uh, 
Oh, Luis was everyone's first happy home paradise? Yeah. I'm leaning towards this one. The plot is kind of a weird size. I might have more room with this one. Coke burns my nose, it's awesome. Ooh, this one would also be cool, but it's palm trees. Remember there was this big debate on how to say leaf? Isn't there people who say like, I can't remember how, how, life maybe? But there was this big debate like that we had on our stream like I remember like a year ago because there was like somebody told me I was pronouncing Leaf's name wrong and I'm still confused. I'm like, isn't it Leaf? And somebody was saying it's life. <laughs> I don't know. I will always say it like Leaf. Right? Okay, I'm gonna go right. Love you so much. Thank you so for my cozy space for all of us and beyond. Grateful Cody. Take care of yourself. Go eat all the foods and go right. That sounds so awesome. And I hope you have a wonderful Thursday if I don't see you around. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. He sells plants. <laughs> um, I don't know which plot to pick. I'm gonna do this one. People prob probably leaf, but I've been said leaf. Am I saying that right? I think it's pronounced leaf, but hate it and call him leaf. Live. How are you supposed to live, laugh, love in these? <laughs> leaf, laugh, love. Um, let's just do one story for now. Did you get your dreamy? No. I probably will just, um, replace Bree with a, an amiibo. Or maybe we'll go villager hunting again. I gotta talk to Mama Doe. See what Mama Doe wants me to do. Turn this down a little bit. Diane, what did I just do? Sorry, I did not mean to turn on emo only chat. I don't even know how that just happened. Oh yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Allie is hosting a Happy Home Paradise challenge too, and it's due today. Also, burrito salad, hey, welcome in. Inquire creator girl, I hope you're doing well. Wee! I'm gonna, gonna lurk to get lunch in LA, drive back home. Girl afraid, have fun, have fun in LA. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going back and reading messages I miss. I remember when I was obsessed with Eloise when I first got Animal Crossing. You don't see her around very often. What's the theme? I don't know. I feel like we should give him like plants and stuff. So he really likes plants and vegetables. So we're gonna do the whole like, kind of like farming in a way, but also make it kind of slothy. Watching you play Animal Crossing, but also playing Animal Crossing? Heck yeah. So maybe we'll do something like this. This is a weird plot, isn't it? Wait a second, that was too over. Um, Lamb, hi, how, how are you? Welcome in. Nice to meet you. 
Maybe something like that. What do you want in Animal Crossing 6? What do I want in Animal Crossing 6? More furniture. Honestly, what I really like about this game is decorating. So it'd be cooler if we had more sets of things. And it'd be also cooler if we could decide on like how we want our plots. Like I think it'd be cool if like, oh, I want a desert theme island or I want a forest theme island. I want this not just be like, oh, we're all on an island. I, I say island, but it could be like a town. So it could be like desert theme. I think that would be cooler. Like if everything was sand. Dune! <laughs> Dune, thank you so much for the 22 months. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Dune. And thank you for the tier two. You know, you don't have to you don't have to do that friend, but make thank you so so much. Enjoy your bonus five emotes. Make sure to go check out my friend Doom Bugs. I mod for him. He's really, really cool, so go check him out. <laughs> more fruits, yes, more fruits would be cool. Um, you know, lemon trees, you know, some some like really cool things, like more fencing. I think I, I think a lot of people feel disappointed with this game as in there's not enough stuff, but I think this is the base of something that's gonna be create something really, really good in the future. Because if you don't know, before this game there was no outside decorating. So this is the first Animal Crossing game where there's outside decorating and like fencing and like all of these new things so i feel like it's kind of like the base of what's going to be the, top, the, the new bottom, one it's... so the new one will be even better that's what i'm trying to like be positive about i think they really do listen to us and they'll make changes they did but they did cut a bunch of content from new leaf but i go back and forth we talked about this last stream that I'm in differ because like I understand it, it's really crappy to feel like they cut out new leaf content but at the same time isn't it kind of nice if they have unique features and characters with certain games that it's associated with like with the whole tree stumps in new leaf when you cut off a tree there's a little design in the tree stump and um you know certain features that make that game go like oh that's the new leaf version if we put everything into one game it maybe wouldn't make the other games as special but i don't know but at the same time i would like to see those features in population growing and now i'm ranting i could keep going on and on and on about animal crossing but i just try to like see both sides of like how i feel about it because there is so many other features features in this game that aren't in the new games bulk item ordering from the store please please also i think it'd be cool to have like a sandbox feature so basically it's like happy home paradise but it's your same island but you could do whatever you want on it but maybe there's some like downfall to that feature i don't know i don't know bella bug thank you for that follow um creator cryer girl what do you what do you mean what do you need help with we are hopeful right um, fast terraforming, faster loading items, bulk um, crafting, ordering, and more shops. I am very disappointed that, that they did not upgrade the shop. There was only one upgrade the whole time. That honestly is mind blowing to me. I don't understand. That is something I am actually disappointed on. There was two shops the whole game. I That's where I feel like they fell short, but you know, maybe the next game will be even better. Hey, Ash, welcome in. What do y'all want to see in the new, new Animal Crossing game while I just sat there and ranted for five minutes? Tell me what you want to see. Maybe you have to unlock the feature with Milk Miles. No, there's only two shops in the, in the game. Like if others can't visit Sandbox Islands? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. This one looks kind of cool. Let me see what siding there is. I just want to be able to decorate while my friends are over. That would be cool. 
<laughs> Imagine they had that feature, right? Where from the very beginning you could decorate while your friends were over. I just remember being in so many Facebook groups where people were like, this person stole from my island. Can you imagine if you were able to decorate with friends on your island? There would be people who like wouldn't understand and then like invite them over and then they would just totally get their island trashed. Which is kind of scary. Because a lot of people in the beginning just like didn't understand how to play the game. I read so many people were like, I got my stuff stolen. This looks nice. Is there a dark brown? Yeah, I like that a lot. We gotta make it flowers. A lot of these are very vibrant. That one is more subtle. That looks nice. Um, Camellia, thank you so much for that follow. Yeah, this is for my challenge. Be nice if people could help me with my overgrown flowers. Yeah, you have to make them a best friend to do that. Would be cute if Leaf, Red, and others um, were on the island instead of Harvey's island. That would be nice. Wait. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just like kind of like putting things down. We can go with like a color scheme. Like we could do like browns and greens. Maybe even yellows. So we can make another one of these. Wait, I think I have to get a yellow pumpkin. Nikki, welcome in. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. And Sid, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate that. Um, I would like if Timmy and Tommy walked around after the shop closed like they did in the beginning. Yes, I think that's adorable if we could see the like the NPCs like walk out of their shop and like maybe like walk to the airport because obviously they don't live on our island because where are they? So maybe you see them like the motion of them walking into the airport, but when you when you go into the airport they're just not there anymore. Um choir creative girl and Mar, thank you so much for those hoes. Yeah, you want to talk to them more often? That would be so cool if you could if if you could see them walking by. I'm sure it has something to do with like with like movability function because like let's say you have a clutter core island and there's no path for them to walk from the airport to the store. Like how would that look? Would it, they like glitch out? I'm sure I don't know. I, I'm sure that would be hard to, to put in, like, in the development. Like, some dialogue options aren't to get help. I think I live in the Nook shop. Lock airports so they can't leave. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. Or the campsite villager walked around. That would be cool. But then again, like, what if it's someone, like, really, like, ugly and you're like, Get off my island! <laughs> and you don't want to see them. But that would be cool or if like maybe like there was a designated spot for them like outside of the campsite and they like could like use like a fire or something i like all these ideas hey nintendo if you're listening cough cough we got great ideas don't timmy and tommy live on the second floor of nooks maybe I know there's like a little ladder. 
But is that confirmed? I just realized I also didn't think all of my early bird squad in my first. Can I go back? Um, congrats on Michelle for getting first. Early bird squad, we got Allie, Luke, Fifi, Denise, Sophie Bear, hello Katie, Lisa, Cody, and Marissa, and Odney. I don't think I shouted you all out, but thank you for being here so freaking early. I know Michelle is in the lead for first, like very, very much in the lead. So thank you so, so much everybody for being here so freaking early. Thank you, thank you. I think I got distracted with the Allison raid. <laughs> I don't mind this. I think this is turning out kind of cute. Like all, it's harder for you to see. There's definitely a delay on my Elgato right now, but since we don't have sound running, I think I should be fine. Let me know if my game starts to look kind of funky, but there's definitely a delay when I look over at my OBS. It's gonna look kind of cute. Maybe we put this here. I don't want to put like tomatoes down because I'm trying to make it look like all the same color. Hmm, maybe one red one. I'm kind of like that so y'all can see. This is what it's kind of looking like. Jordan, thank you so much for the host. Just kind of make it <laughs> look organic looking. Please be listening, right? Please take notes. I would, like, that would be so cool if I could actually, like, have somebody ask me how I feel about the game to help to improve it. That would be so sick. Love the mix of everything. Thanks. I think it's, it looks like, you know, like, more organic looking. Yeah, we need to find like all the farmy stuff. <laughs> His little garden, right? Um, did anybody watch anything fun this past week? I, I finished the, the catfishing documentary and then um, we watched Vampire Diaries in Discord yesterday. And what else did we do? I'm honestly just like trying to get better. I'm still feeling like, like I don't know if anybody else here had this issue with COVID, I'm sure that they did. But like my, I'm having such a hard time talking still and like if I talk too much or raise my voice, it makes me cough. So I'm hoping like I get better soon because it's been, um, how long has it been, it been since today? I think it's been two and a half weeks. I was coughing for a whole month after. Oh my gosh. That sounds so bad. Um, Nightmarish, thank you for that host. Oh, Chicken Widow. That sounds fun. You've been watching Shameless? You know, I never really watched that show. Do you like it? I'm assuming yes, because you're watching it. I wish I could put items over here. I just left the doctor's office. Turns out I have strep. No. Are you serious? I'm so sorry. I hate getting swabbed for strep throat. The last time I had to do it, honestly, it was like low key embarrassing because you know how they have to like swab the back of your throat? <laughs> I literally was like, I was like, I can't do this. Like I, I'm such a baby. And they, they had to do it like four times. Cause I kept just like <laughs> not allowing them to do it. 
and I could tell that they were getting really frustrated. And I was like, um, can we just like say I have a strep throat? Because <laughs> this is, I don't, I don't like this. I think that's worse than getting a COVID test. I couldn't sing properly until a month after, so I got it. So hug, um, I luckily still have my first soprano voice. Oh, I'm glad to hear that you're feeling better. It really sucks, doesn't it? Like, I never want to get COVID ever again. It's so bad. Both of my parents I haven't had it, and I'm just like, really happy that they didn't get it. And I hope they never do. I think it'd be fun if we looked up maybe leaf codes. Because I'm on my save account where I have a ton of open space. But then again, I'm gonna just have to delete it. I get, I get kind of worried about that. I'm not gonna do it actually. What game is this, Stardew Valley? Yep. When are you gonna start playing Animal Crossing again, Dan? Are you over it? This is gonna cover the house. Let's move this over here. Maybe I'll make this all dirt. League of Legends, yep. I'm actually playing League of Legends right now. You know, I've never played that game before. I kind of like that being dirt, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't like it connecting. I think that looks better. Astro White Cloud, hi. Oh, you're, you're sewing some cosplay? That's really freaking cool. Do you ever show, show any pictures of your cosplay or anything? The mobile game is really good. I started playing yesterday for the first time. I almost cried over how stressful I was. Wait, what game? Animal Crossing? My whole family had it in like February of 2020. We all had symptoms and everything. I don't know how my, well, actually my mom thinks that she got COVID in 2019. Like it was around December, you know, when they didn't really like know about it yet or, you know, it wasn't really talked about in America. I don't really remember the time frame, but um, we think that she actually had COVID because the doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. I could share some photos. Yeah, there's our Discord if you feel comfortable using that or I don't know how else you could share them with me. Maybe like through a Discord DM. Not Discord, Instagram DM, sorry. Came back super sick. My only thing that I'm like happy about getting COVID is that it will protect me more when I'm at TwitchCon. That's like the only like positive side of me trying to think of it in a positive light. I'm like, okay, maybe I'll have extra protection when I'm out there and I don't have to worry about catching it again. But I mean, it still sucks. And I'm very, very happy that I didn't um, give it to anybody.
I don't really have anything I can put. So I'm going to put nothing there. Maybe we'll put a little box. I feel like my builds are just so boring compared to everybody else's. That cement builds are just so, like, amazing. Oh, maybe we can put, a, like, a little veggie basket on top. Oh, really, Sarah? Hi, Alexa. I got caught up watching Vampire Diaries and I'm obsessed now. Oh my gosh, what episode are you on? I'm glad you're enjoying it. You have a lot of seasons to watch in a short amount of time, so... I hope you can get through them. Oh, that I, li I really like that. You got it from your mom? It's hard not to get it when you're in the same household, you know? Let's also change the time of day. Everything always looks better in the sunset time. Like right here. Good middle ground. Also, let me see here. Hello, what is your name? It's Olive. I don't want to make it fall. Ski over here. No. You got a gifted sub. I hope you enjoy your ad-free viewing. You know, I'm going to put it on this setting, and by the time we decorate the inside, I think it will be at the perfect lighting. I'm on episode 10 now, I'm loving it. Also cried, I have an app where I can watch them all on there, I'm set. Okay, so you got the hookup, you're fine. I've always been told I look better at night. Oh, because of like the moody lighting, you, you can't see as much detail. Is that what you mean, Dan? <laughs> no, Mashy. False information. Okay, let's see here. We gotta make the inside the one wallpaper I probably don't have. I want the greenhouse wallpaper and I don't think I have it. Wait, greenhouse. Oh, <gasps> never mind. I mean, this has gotta be the wallpaper, right? How can I get a bridge? How far are you into the game? That'll be my first question. You gotta get far into the game, not far into Animal Crossing, but you gotta get to a certain point where you can build a bridge. I'm <laughs> actually causing trouble. Oh, 90. <laughs> um, Barbie Grace, thank you so much for the 50 bits. I appreciate that, what the heck? Ooh, it looks nice when you turn the lights off. There's like more contrast to the wallpaper. Please don't tell us your age in chat. Um, Alexa, yeah, please don't tell us that you're 90 years old. It's not allowed. Please follow the rules. Thanks. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I'm picturing like tables i'm gonna like think of my uh, twilight memories where they're in the greenhouse i love how leaf just stands there and admires your creativity he's like okay what you gonna do for me just being patient i'm a vampire <laughs> Alexa, have you ever seen um, Twilight? Ooh. Maybe we can do something like this. How are you liking the rain, girl? 
I was cleaning my screen and that happened just like I was clicking around just like a minute ago and um, I actually turned on email only chat. I'm surprised you've never seen the show then, Alexa. You see that TikTok I sent for the screening of the Twilight and the crowd was going wild? Yes, but that was like a new screening, right? Unless you sent me something new. Where like it was like a bunch of friends and they were like screaming. I would love to do that. I actually had a few people send me that video. I was like, can we just all please do this together? Have you ever seen movie um, Interview with a Vampire? You love it. I have seen that movie. I feel like there's so much like sexual tension in that movie. It's like kind of crazy. Should we put, no, we probably should put fruit baskets. Looks like bacon. It kind of does look like bacon. <laughs> we got some bacon strips on here. Okay, I need to go to, like, the plant section. These are the tall plants. Oh, yeah, we have these things. Oh, my gosh. These are so fun. I've never been able to use these before. Can I customize these? You can't. So maybe I'll make these dark wood so they match. Yes, I'm literally, that's my inspiration. <laughs> I was saying that my inspiration is the field trip from Twilight. Can you watch where you're going? <laughs> yeah, a little. <laughs> They're turning into a series on TV. Oh, are they, Denise? I never even heard that before. They're making it into a TV show. I always said that they need to have more vampire shows. <laughs> it looks like a worm. Okay, let's see here. We also have the flower garden. Maybe we can... Put this here instead. I'm also trying to get like, <laughs> when I go to like Home Depot, I'm like, okay, what does that look like? That's not gonna fit. I can smell this room. Okay, let's go to the smaller potted plants. There's a ton. a good start put those here there's so much variety i love it i love this one this is such a cool 2.0 item like the varieties behind it are super cool like can you change these oh <gasps> you can it doesn't change oh it changes the flowers slightly you can't change this though. I might make this room a little bit bigger. Ooh, that might be too big. But wouldn't that be kind of cool if I could like line these up? And then maybe I can like, I'm 
unfortunately those don't fit. Like a spot where to sell things, maybe? Does anybody have any um, exciting Thursday night plans? I'm not <laughs> seeing my family tonight. Oh, my brother is now sick, so that's a bummer. Didn't get it from me. So we're um, holding off on dinner tonight. I did see my dad this morning, which was really, really nice. It was the first time I've been able to see my dad in a few weeks. Alexa, thank you for that host. The Royal Creek. I don't think I've ever um, heard of them before. You work nights. Do you like working nights or do you like, are you trying to get off the schedule? Am I not going to have enough room for this? Maybe we need to get rid of, like, this and put it here. I already know what I'm doing for for, for like weeks <laughs> are you like a planner like you know exactly what you're gonna do I'm like the opposite I'm kind of like like I like scheduling and I like things on time and stuff but like I have some a couple friends who are like okay well what are you gonna do on this day I'm like I don't know we can just like kind of figure out the day of I'm kind of chill with that aspect like if I know we have plans to hang out I'm like not like a super planner i'm just like oh we'll figure it out like like let's see how like we're feeling the day of like what we want to do because we'll obviously plan something and then later on we're like you know what? we don't really feel like doing that actually does this turn green hmm maybe silver I like the little shopping basket. I meant watching the shows. That's going to take over your life. Do you ever just like invest so much time into one show? Like it's your whole life. And then once you finish it, because you binge it so quickly, you're just like, what do I do now? It's like the best feeling, but also like, it's such a, a bummer. Can I put something on the top of this? Oh, you can, that's so awesome. Well, we definitely gotta put another plant up there. Gamer girl, hey! Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And thank you for that follow. And um, is it Rest? Thank you for that follow as well. Y'all, I'm only um, eight followers away from hitting 14.9k, which means like I'm 108 followers away from hitting 15k, which is really, really freaking cool. Um, we're definitely gonna do something fun for it. Maybe we can kind of like morph my end of summer celebration with the 15k celebration i kind of was hoping i would have it done by then so it only makes sense so i'll have some things um to give away and hopefully i have some things done by then i've been working on this um project and um it just needs a little bit more time um lit i don't know how to say your name but thank you so much for the follow is it little tori let me know if that's wrong. You're always, if anybody's here, you're always um, more than welcome to introduce yourself. The most relatable feeling ever. <laughs> After watching 10 Dr. Phil seasons in a day, I felt the void inside of me when I was over. <laughs> Burrito salad, 10 Dr. Phil seasons in one day. Is that even possible? Is that even possible? 
there's shows I haven't even finished for that reason. I get really sad and I don't watch the last episode of a lot of um, series. I actually read that with people who suffer from anxiety, me, um, don't like they like to rewatch shows over and over again because like they know how it's going to end up doing and also read that they don't like to watch the last episode because then they know it's over. So I'm like, yep. Yep, that's me. Rewatching shows I really enjoy and then not watching the last episode. Sounds sounds like me. Um, Diggy and Ms, thank you for those follows. I've been three seasons for fast because in three days. I mean, hey, if it made you feel better, that's all that matters. Ooh, I didn't mean to turn the lights. I like it in here. I might make him a bedroom upstairs. So maybe we put this over here. I love that this comes in so many different colors. It's so pretty, but it is a pain in the butt to make. It took me like, I think like a week to get everything to make this for the first time when I was playing this game. I don't know if I want those. Let me see if I have something else. Maybe these instead. And then we definitely have to have like these like all over the place. Like fill it up. Um Car Karma, hi, welcome in. How are you doing? Hello, hello. And Rai, thank you for that follow. I'm such a TV binger, it's wild. I think a lot of us turned into TV bingers because of Netflix. Like, we never really had that option before. Because it's like, you know, like growing up, we watch everything on cable. Not everything, but a lot of things. And there's so many shows I've watched that have been so out of order because I could only catch them when they were on TV. So like I've gone back on a lot of shows I watched as a kid and watched them in order. And I'm like, I didn't realize that this is the second episode or I didn't realize this or that because I just had no idea. I know this is a lot. Let me see what else we got. I don't know if I want to have like plant or like like lights necessarily. I don't know. Hi from France. Hi, welcome in. How are you doing? Hope you enjoy the stream. I think I like that more. But does that make sense to have lights in here like this? I mean, like, not really. But it is Animal Crossing, so I can, can like, kind of do whatever I want. <laughs> Let me change the lighting. I like that it's more green. Kind of, like it kind of makes sense, but kind of doesn't. I don't know, wait, hold on. I don't, I don't think I like the lights. No, I didn't mean to do that. Sky! <laughs> Sky, are you on the road? Oh, you are. Can't wait to meet you, BB. I'm on the road, Olive Jar Kitty Love, Olive Jar Kitty Love. Sky, I hope you have a safe drive. I also can't wait to meet you. 
It's very, very soon. Two days away. I hope you have a safe drive on your road trip. And thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. And Taylor, hey, welcome in. How's it going? Uh, yeah, I don't think I like the lights. So I think I'm going to hope. Oh, I keep doing this. I think I'm going to spread these out a little bit more. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. You have no idea how much it means to me. Seriously, I just want to put that out there. Who's breaking a table? Pixie! Oh no! Our table! Pixie! It's broken! Well, the table Hi, Olive Ja, love. Oh, Pixie, thank you so much for the 101 biddies. How are you feeling? Are you feeling better? I really hope so. Me and Pixie got um, sick around the same time. It's like I gave it through you, through the phone. <laughs> through the internet. Let's put some cobwebs in here. I feel like we gotta have a couple cobwebs. We gotta have some little buggies in here. Gotta get some butterflies. Put some butterflies over here. Getting there, still can't get rid of this cough. That's how I am right now. Um, I definitely still have a cough and like, my throat doesn't necessarily hurt, but it's like, I can't even like raise my voice or if I talk for too long, um, I start coughing. There's so many butterflies in here. I love it. Okay. Um. I feel like I'm still, like, missing a couple more things. I might want to put some rugs down. Ooh, this could look nice. Tropical rug. I really like how the tropical rug looks. I feel like that helps break that area up a little bit. Leaf um, definitely loves bugs, right? I just got home from the doctor. I have to take I'd have to take this at home COVID test because they wanted to charge me fifty dollars for a COVID test at the doctor's. That's ridiculous. I'm so I'm so tired of so many things like that. Like fifty dollars. Who do they think they are? $50. It costs $20 right now at my store to get um, a COVID test, but it's like two of them. This kind of works. Part of me is like, do I, do I need this rug? Like, should I extend this maybe? Give me a second, I'm moving things around. It's getting a little crowded in here, but it's okay. Okay, we'll do this, change this.
There we go. I like that there's like <laughs> walking paths. And then like the shop is just right there, or like the cash register is right there. Okay, let's add an upstairs and we can make his bedroom. Let's add an upstairs. So cute, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick um, BRB. I'm gonna go use the bathroom and um, drink some water, but I'll only be a few minutes. Um, while I take my BRB, feel free to follow me on my socials, use any commands, join our 18 plus Discord, where we have lots of movie nights and game nights. Looks like I pushed Rodeo into the pitfall. Um, but yeah, I, I will be just only a few minutes. I also will be running a one minute ad. So it delays ads for later on in the stream. So you don't get an ad while I'm talking. So thank you for watching the ads, being patient with me. And I'll be right back. BRB. Shut the hell up, bitch. Thank you. 
Hello? Also, Sarah, <laughs> thank you so much for the 420 bits. I'm sorry if my posters were um, hiding my alerts. I just realized that. So it might have been blocked a little bit. So my apologies. Thank you so much. And um, Joanne at home, thank you for the follow. Gaming Fisherman, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you for being patient with me while I took my BRB. Is that our is that our Lord, Dr. Phil, our Lord and Savior? Headband redemption. Allison is wearing the black kitty headband. <laughs> okay, let's see what we shall do for Leap's upstairs bedroom. I'm thinking we should do like kind of a tiny home. I don't know if it should like continue in the greenhouse. I keep hitting all the wrong buttons. I, I still saw <laughs> Phil's eyes. I like how you referred to him as Phil and not Dr. Phil. Wouldn't you love going on the show and just calling him Phil and not Dr. Phil? I bet he would hate that. Hmm. Maybe like an outdoor outside like landscape. I don't have any of my window designs though on this account. I'm 1% stinky today. Hello, Phil. Prince Philip. He never renewed his license to practice. I didn't actually believe he was an actual doctor. Like, I know, like, maybe a doctor, but, you know, he got into the television side. So, is he an actual doctor? This is kind of a cool... This could be kind of cool. It does look very tropical. Hold on. I feel like I gotta remove like all of this though. Like get rid of that. That's my brother's name, but we call him Lip like Shameless. He's more of a showman. Yeah, he doesn't, he's not actually a doctor. Or maybe just, you know, an out of practice doctor. This looks really busy, so I don't think I'll go with this. Um, Wolfle Puff, hello? Might make the room smaller. Should we? Oh, that's too small. I feel like the sizing is just like kind of weird when you do it this way. Maybe this way? Let's see. Wolf Puff, hey, welcome in. How you doing? Um, hey Sophie, welcome in. Thank you for lurking. Okay, what bed should we do? I truly don't think there's enough beds in this game. I'm never satisfied with my selections. 
When you get a certain point into this game, do you unlock every furniture piece in Happy Home Paradise? Because I feel like I'm missing some beds. Let's see what this looks like. I'm working soon, but home this week when I'm home and I'm so lazy. So you're working from home this week? That's that's good. Do you prefer to work from home? I feel like I would. This kind of matches. Maybe not that one. This playlist is very um <laughs> dramatic. Let me know if it just ever gets too loud. I might like turn it down just ever so slightly, but I'm gonna turn it down just a smidge. For the people who did do the Happy Home Paradise Challenge, did you enjoy doing it? Like, did you have any... Like, did you like that it was just based on the character and there was no restrictions? I feel like I've kind of done different types of themes and I don't know what I'm going to do next. Maybe something that's more detailed because this is like more open-ended. So maybe something that's like more design themed. You know, change it up a little bit. Because, you know, we, do, we did um, Tiny Home, we did a color one, we did Twilight, Special NPC, Roommates. So, I don't know. Gamer Grandma. Ga gra gra gram gamer Grandma? Am I saying that right? Grandma. <laughs> I don't know why I keep reading it as like grammar. Um, I hope I can help with tips and great ideas. We're currently working on a Happy Home Paradise build. Give them all the plants. I wish there was a window, but I understand why there isn't. Like, it's supposed to set the scene, but it's just looking kind of like really orangey in here. Oh my god, girl, afraid you've been following me for so long. Let me click on your name. You've been following me since August 1st. August 1st. Insane. Almost from the very, very beginning. Literally. Thank you for sticking around by my side for so freaking long. What the heck? This is one of my favorite challenges to do. <laughs> I love to hear that. Any feedback is always welcomed with my Happy Home Paradise builds because, you know, I do them for y'all and I just want to make sure people are enjoying them. Oh, we should put some bugs downstairs. Sun Sunshine has been falling for one year, seven months. Jordan's been falling for one, one year, five months. Jordan! I did not realize that you've been following me for that long. Hello, Jordan? Secret lurker? You followed me like right before I hit partner. What the heck? Pixie, six months, burrito salad, one year, three weeks, same burrito salad. I can, I, the blah, 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 blah. I can't believe it's been one year. Hannah Banana, four months, let's go. Allie, 11 months, we're almost to a year. I love the challenge, can't wait to do more of them. Oh my God, Mia, I'm really glad you liked it. I followed a long time before I said anything. That's A-okay. 
I've been having a lot of people recently, which is so sweet, tell me, like some streamer friends, that they've been watching my streams during the day while they work and they don't talk. And I'm like, that makes my heart so happy. <laughs> like anybody who lurks during my streams, I freaking love ya. used to stream at the exact same time as you, so I didn't come. Oh, really? Put a little plant on top? More cobwebs? I just saw a TikTok of a streamer crying because all the lurkers came out and said hi. They've been watching. Was that BB Jess? I wa I know BB Jess. Like I watched a TikTok of her and she was like, like a bunch of lurkers came out and she was like, "Who are you guys?" <laughs> it's so awesome. I definitely have had some lurkers like come around after like a year of being here just to say like, "Hey, I'm just saying hi." I'm just like, "Oh my god, thank you." Um, Strawberry, thank you for that follow. My lurkers never have to say anything, by the way. There's never no pressure to say one word to me. You simply can just vibe. I feel like there needs to be more in this space. Remember when we did the Happy Home Paradise challenge with Nookazon and I was like completely sweating? I don't think I've ever like had that kind of stress in my life. We're just gonna put all the plants here. We're really trying to busy this space up. Oh, of course, Alexa, enjoy your lurk. corner. I think that looks good. Sky is wearing a stitches headband. Ooh, this one looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna pause the music for a second. Ooh. Let's add some butterflies. All the butterflies. Honestly, I was in the doctor's waiting. I was getting a terrible anxiety just listening to the stream. Lurking was helping Tiana. I'm so glad I can help in any type of way. So beautiful. Thank you, Strawberry. I love your stream so much. I wish I could hug you. Virtual hug. <laughs> the butterfly effect. Okay. Let's go back outside. 
You deserve a piece of cake. Thank you. I really need some cake right now. I think everything's good to go. I'm pretty happy with everything. I just wanted to make sure the outside um, daytime still looked okay. It's a, um, you have to get so far into this game where you get like the shining effect. And basically you can shine areas with butterflies. I think, I think we're good to go. Yeah. Spilled is so cute, Marissa, thank you. Why do I have to do this? Leaves. Greenhouse. <laughs> Leaf, laugh, love. <laughs> I should have made it that one. <laughs> Too late. Hey, Mike, how have you been? Welcome in. How you doing, friend? Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> He's smelling. I love that part. Me too. It's so fun. I'm over here humming to the music too. Yeah, I'll take a photo. This is my first like legit build I've done on the save file. Okay, let's put you over here. that's perfect I always like to do like zoom up shots so you get more of a surprise when you go and visit my if I mean I don't know who's going to my profile but you know it's more of a surprise when you go to it we auto filled Brie oh I have to go talk to leave we're done yay okay I'm gonna play some music again Hello, music? There we go. All the other villagers didn't get real for bills and they're gonna be jealous, yeah. You're gonna be like, what the heck? I only got three items in my build. We've got a whole greenhouse. Hi, Cecily, how are you? Welcome in. So cute, I totally will be bopping along to the music too. I must have, this must be a day where I did Happy Home Paradise speed running. Cause look, there's things that are sold and I didn't buy anything today. I'm good, don't have an amiibo cards with me. So can I use a previous build for my challenge? Sure, as long as you didn't use it for like another challenge, I don't mind. Do we want to go check out the party for a second? a whole dang party actually hold on I think we need this
Oh yeah, this is actual. This is Happy Home Paradise spoilers, by the way. And Megan Hearts Association, hey, welcome in. How are you? Dance break. These are all my speed runners. These are all my victims. <laughs> Let's go. Meep, Meepo Cat. I'm sorry about that. Yes, American Heart Association's been here quite a few times. It's really awesome. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving the party. We're gonna head back home. All of my victims. <gasps> Shibby, hi! Hello! Wait, I know Shibby usually has a little bit of delay coming to my stream. Hi, Mac Daddy, welcome in. But Shibby's Raiders, if you can hear me, hello, my name is Olive, my pronouns are she, her. We're currently, I just finished a Happy Home Paradise build, but I'm gonna go back to my island. I think we might do some a little bit of decorating. But welcome on in. If we could have a shout out for Shibby once he rolls in. Shibby is always so sweet and always um, has raided me so many times. Here we go, Shibby raid, Shibby raid, hello. Hello, oh actually I got an auto shout out for you Shibby. Oh no, no we don't, Tiana did it, Never mind. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Tiana, thank you so much. Hey, welcome in Shibby, how is your stream? Can hear you, just takes a sec to load the stream, got it. What were you up to? How was your stream? Thank you for bringing your community over. They're all on the beach because there's no furniture in their houses. I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. So many exciting things going on in gaming. What are you most excited for? Look at this down here. There's so much to do on my island to the point where I'm just like, Oh my gosh, there's so much to do. Like the castle build will probably be delayed until Monday. So Monday stream, I'll probably be hopping in and doing a giant castle build, but I might kind of decorate this part. This needs to be worked on. So we can go back and grab all my stuff. I am gonna change my string title really quick. Okay. Your island's so pretty, thank you. Sonic is cool, Pokemon, uh, new OLED Switch. There's a new Switch coming out? I didn't know that. I didn't see Sonic either, was that released today? I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on mine next. There's so much to work on. But let me go grab all of my my stuff. Oh my god. Am I saying this right, Euclid? Hello, what are you doing here? Hello, what are you doing here? You're not allowed to be here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I only say that because I freaking love your TikToks. What the heck? Thank you so much for stopping by, friend. It is so funny how um, Allie raided you the other day and I was shooketh. I was honestly shooketh because I was like, I can't believe I'm seeing you in live action and I've only seen your TikToks. I want to see Elite AC Gaming. Thank you so much for following me. What the heck, or stopping by. I don't know if you're actually following me, but thank you so much for stopping by. What the heck? I was playing some DBD last night um, but this is my island. I have a medieval core island, castle core, whatever you may want to. Oh my God, look at all of them. They're eating their popsicles. I don't know if popsicles were around during medieval times, but we can pretend. But we're gonna be working on 
doing this like little transition spot. Put some markets over here next to the archery spot. A new switch, that's what I'm saying. There's a new switch coming out. Your island's gorgeous, thank you. I play this game a lot. <laughs> Obviously, I play a lot, a lot. Um, I also had a farm core island and a city core island. So this is technically my fourth island I've worked on. I'm, I, I've am i been getting like some inspiration from Game of Thrones, but I don't want it to be a Game of Thrones themed island. But Game of Thrones has helped a lot. Did y'all watch House of, House of Dragons? I still can't get over how good that first episode was. I don't know if it's just because I love Game of Thrones so much that it like brought me back to the series and why I became so obsessed with it all over again, but I'm just really, really excited for the next episode. Yeah, I told everyone you play Animal Crossing a lot and you're really good at it. Thank you, Shippy. When I'm, when I'm finished with Happy Home Paradise, I'm gonna work on my island. Nice. House of Dragons was a while, but I'm so, I'm so obsessed again, right? Like hearing the like the like tune of Game of Thrones playing during the show, I was just like, oh my god, this is amazing. I'm so pumped for it. Me too. Me too. Okay. Let me put some stuff away. This is not the right button. It's gorgeous, thank you, Sky. If you missed it, we did autofill and we got Brie, but I'm gonna kick out Brie off of my island. New <laughs> new episode of You Day Besties, I can't wait. It's gonna be so good. I'm actually gonna try to watch it on time. I It took me a whole day to watch it. And everyone's like, did you watch it? I was like, no, but I'm gonna watch this one on time. The devil headband. But I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want to spoil it for anybody, so I'll, I'll keep my mouth shut. But if you want to talk about it later in DMs or whatever, I'm here. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Okay, let's grab some... Some iron nuggets. Craft some plate armors. Miriam, thank you for that follow. Should I just like tag my stream as House of Dragons themed island? House of Dragons core island. <laughs> Honestly, watching it though, I was like, okay. Taking notes, taking notes. Should I show off my jousting arena really quick for the new people? I know there's a, there's been quite a few new um, friends come in the chat in the past week and I actually haven't been doing any island decorating. Like I did villager hunting and we did the crafting and I just, I haven't, I haven't really showed off my island. Yeah, I wanna see, I'll show you. The item's tight, the plate armor. Isn't that really awesome? That's from the 2.0 um, update. So really quick, this is Pietro's um, play. Look, he's up here. <laughs> this is his play. Oh, he's gonna play piano for us. <laughs> oh my God, they were roommates. He's playing piano right now. So this is his stage. He um, is a jester. This is where the king and queen sit. Oh yeah, you love Pietro. I forgot about that. I gave him his whole new stage for him go up here and he even has roses encore encore I still need to change the outside of his house and this tree is supposed to be fall I think I'm gonna change every oh is he is he gonna sit down he's thinking about it I know you want to do it oh he second guessed it he second guessed it Pietro's so good you know I never oh are you gonna sit down I never like like loved him before, but the more and more I started like wanting him on my on this island, I've liked him. And also, I did a Pietro cosplay. Oh, he, is he gonna sit down? He, I don't think he's gonna sit. He's he's teasing us. But I did a Pietro cosplay 
Was that like last month? And that was really fun. Hawaii's getting flattened, out of content. <laughs> Sky, that sounds so weird. But you're flattening your island. Sit on that throne, king. So this is my jousting arena. This whole big thing, I can kind of swap out my, let me remove my camera so y'all can see better. But really, really like how this turned out. I have like little gyroids that are supposed to be the audience and this is where the king and queen sit and they got their fruits and their beer and then the jousting's going on over here. <laughs> I'll appreciate you give Pietro the love and attention he deserves. No problem. And then Victoria is the horse in the game and she takes care of all of the horses. Can you show me the cosplay? Can you show us the plus Because I'm really excited for it. I, I posted a photo on my Instagram. I don't have like a really a way to show you like right this moment, but there's a photo posted on my Instagram if you want to go see it. And I'm doing a cosplay tomorrow, cough, cough. There will be a cosplay for Isabel. Very, very excited for it. The outfit is adorable. And here's my little market. My island is lagging so hard though. I have so much stuff down. It's kind of crazy. I like how this looks from this angle. Maybe we can do like a, I wonder how this would look. Ooh, I love doing this camera angle. The old market, let's go. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm enjoying it. I never go in this camera angle and I should do it more often. Okay. Did we ever get to see the inside of... Did we ever get to see inside of his house? I feel like I'm at King's Landing. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, sick. I don't think we've been in here since we decorated Sterling's house. He's dusting, look, he's dusting his armor. I mean, hey, if that's if that helps. He's like, there's cobwebs in here. Are you gonna dust your uh, kitchen area? Okay. Okay, whatever, whatever makes you happy. He's really dusting his heart out. But this turned out pretty well too. Are you gonna dust your shoes? Okay, you're gonna dust your shoes off. <laughs> I feel free to continue the stream back from my lunch. How was your lunch? What did you eat? Okay, he- I don't want to interrupt his time. He's gonna keep dusting away. Plant pillars, thank you for that follow. Is the is love the alleyway? Thanks. I kind of wish I made it a little bit wider. So there was like two spaces for me to walk, but you know, it's okay. I'm not gonna go back and change it. Oh, nice, Dan. Last time he was crafting, okay. And it like messed up a part of his house. I hate when that happens. We'll be decorating, nice. Nice time to flatten. Okay, we were working on decorating this area. So I have some storefronts. Just, just adding more chaos. I don't know, that might be, maybe we'll bring it back a little bit. Oh, we also need to make a ton of tiki torches. So let's go ahead and make those too. There's still so much to do on the island. I really need to like sit down and like brainstorm everything I wanna plant out. I don't remember what I need as a wood. You think I would have this memorized by now? All the tiki torches. The 
this is where we were talking about before if we could add <laughs> we could make this game better please make bulk crafting please Oh my gosh, guys, I have really good news. I forgot to share this because um, my brain is in shambles, but I have extremely, extremely good news that honestly made me cry all day yesterday for. I found out that, um, well, I mean, everybody found out about the student loan forgiveness plan. And because of that, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be debt free from it. And I never, I, you know, I always hoped that this would happen because there was talks about this um, relief program for like, what, four years now. And I literally called my parents up crying yesterday because I found out I'm, um, you know, I get the 10, I get the 10K and then I also get the bonus 10K. So I, if it works out in my favor and everything goes okay, I should be wiping all of my student loan debt out completely. I haven't even paid for my student loans since um, 2020 whenever they stopped doing the interest thing because I simply couldn't afford because I lost my job. So like it, it's honestly like life changing for me to get my student loans wiped. Let's go, thank you, thank you so much. It is fantastic news. Okay, sounds good, Allison. I hope you uh, feel better. I'm sorry about that. Um, Ghosty Girl, thank you for that uh, follow. I'm not really happy because I already paid. I know there's some people who are like, oh, well, am I gonna get my money back kind of situation? And I'm just like, I know there's never, no one's ever gonna be like happy with any kind of like action that's made like that, but it has deeply changed my life for the best, so very, very happy. Do you have a degree? What did you study? I got my bachelor's degree in fine arts. It's simply not doing anything for me right now because I don't have a job in that field. I mean, I do. I do freelance. But I don't have like a, I used to work, I worked in a studio photography for about five years. And I did some stuff before that. So it did help me before then. But as of right now, it's really not doing anything for me. This island is fine arts. I do photography on the side, but you know, you don't need a, a degree for that. I would have not paid knowing this. I told all of my friends to like, I was, like, I had a couple friends who were like, oh, I'm just going to pay off my student loans so we don't have interest. I'm like, don't do it. Don't, don't pay for it. Something's going to happen. Thank you, guys. It's honestly, like, such good news. Like, my, my mom also, um, she, it's kind of a long story. Like, this is, like, trigger warning. But my mom um, suffered with alcoholism for most of her life. And she turned her life around and became sober. And she actually went, she went to school and became a nurse. I was very, very happy for her. But, you know, going to school, like, she is in, like, very much in debt from going to nursing school. And she's 64 years old. So it's like, you know, for her to be, you know, that much older and have so much student loan mm -hmm. debt, like we both, like we were both literally crying on the phone. Right, I'm so, I'm so proud of her to like go back to school in like your fifties and become a nurse. I was so freaking proud of her. My mom kept trying to pay and I'm like, no, please don't let me wait. <laughs> there's no, yeah, same. If there's no interest, I'm not paying. I'm glad she's sober. Me too. I haven't been paying mine loans since they froze. I'm so happy. I know. I'm so happy. Mac Daddy, it's like, it is so, it's, it's so life-changing. 
That's super in inspiring, yes. She's, she's amazing. She actually is starting a new job today, too. She's like gonna be like a traveling nurse. I honestly don't know how she ever did it. Like she had to like relearn math because um, she had a really bad like upbringing and she dropped out of school when she was 16. So she didn't learn like a lot of like math like we would learn in school. So she had to learn everything from YouTube. Cause like I couldn't teach her how to do this math. Like I didn't remember how to do it and like she never learned it at all. So she literally learned how to do math from YouTube. It's amazing. And she, and she was able to, you know, do everything. I need wood. I have friends that are traveling nurses and they, um, yeah, like they, you def, people definitely need traveling nurses right now. But when people say they're too old to go back to college, it's not true. My mom is a great example. She went back in her 50s. She said, you know what? I don't want to work this these kind of jobs anymore. I'm going to get a job in this field. And she did it. Okay, I'm going to make a stall. Me too. I'll have to call her later. Had to stop to get ready to tell you. That's amazing. I'm so happy for y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sorry if I made you come out of your lurk. I'm 49. I'm in grad school. Congratulations. That's awesome. I hope you're enjoying grad school. She's not a regular cool. She's not a regular mom. She's a cool mom. Yeah. She's definitely had a really big journey in life. Oop. I'm out of. Um, customization kits. I really hope that this is just like the first step on making bigger moves too, because I know the average like debt r like ratio for you know student loans is like more up in like the 40,000. So I hope that this is going in the right direction that we get more, more help to people. I did quit high school and came back to finish it a bunch of years after and it could be hard, but it's possible your mom is in peace. I can't even imagine going back and like redoing high school classes. Honestly, it sounds really, really hard. You lose a lot of those like high school facts and like, like long division. I just remember how much I hated long division and you can't get me to ever do that again. No way. I can't even comprehend long division in my brain. I always hated it or like fractions. I just, I hated it so, so much. Never again. Like, please, I can't do it. I'm so glad in art school I never had to take a math class. Actually, my, my senior year of art school, they announced that they were going to force freshmen to take art or take math classes from then. I'm like, oh my gosh, I really dodged a bullet there. I didn't have to take math classes. Not all the freshmen got to take math classes. Um, Coops, thank you for that uh, follow. Welcome in. You guys are so cute, so cozy here. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. I'm I'm very low energy today and I'm recovering from COVID. So it's very, very chill. Oh, you like math now? I don't know if I'll ever like math. I don't know. That's That's a tough one. I can't ever see myself enjoying it again. I know in school I got like a D minus in, ge in geometry. I still passed. I think I got like a 61% or something like that. This is high school, right? And um, like I was like, I couldn't understand geometry apparently, or maybe I just didn't care enough. 
And then the next year, I didn't have to take math anymore. I was like, yes. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do this. Hey, Salem, what's going on? I hope you are doing lovely, friend. You're going to TwitchCon, right, Salem? Because I need to see your face. It is mandatory, so you need you need to come. Period. I will I will come out. I'm so I'm just like so excited just to like go to the ocean and like hang out and go like you know to TwitchCon and meet all my friends. I just I can't stop thinking about it and it's getting closer and closer. Uh, hold on. Oh no. Um, I'm really good <laughs> at math in high school, but now I'm like, let's not, right? And like the way, like I think when I was in school, like calculators were really frowned upon, right? How is it now? Like are kids just allowed to have calculators all the time? And I always remember my teachers were so like particular in how you did your formulas. Like, like, like if you got the answer right, but didn't do the formula correctly, you would still get it wrong. And I was like, why? I did a shortcut. Please let me do the shortcut. Mally, hey, welcome in. How are you? The thought of seeing you again and meeting so many besties makes me want to cry. I know. I'm so excited. Okay, this area is looking pretty nice. Maybe we can put um, a car, uh, covered wagon. I could never remember the formula. Same. Same. Also, like, having dyslexia in school, it sucks. You know, just in general, it sucks. But, like, taking, like, math classes like that my brain w just was so fried covered wagons i feel like i'm missing it or maybe i don't have any one time i my teacher put c's into math problem and i got it wrong and my c's looked like a two well that's just rude i'd be like hello this is correct Okay, I was like, I totally passed them. I don't think I have horses. Or no, I think I do. I do have horses, but they're pink. So I gotta go to Harvey's and get them customized. <laughs> I don't I don't think I can customize them here. Mally! Yes, there's two Mallies now here. Hi Mally, welcome in. How's it going? And hot papa, hey! When old people make fun of, when old people make fun for using a, sorry, I keep missing your message. Using for a calculator at the register, I would basically explode. Oh, that's so rude. Are you serious? Searching treasure, thank you for that follow. Also, it's like, I want to double check when I'm using a calculator at a register, because I totally understand that, like when I worked at a restaurant, Cause it's like, if I accidentally give the wrong change and my register is short, you can get fired. Old people, come on. My dad the other day was upset with me because I don't balance my checkbook. I was like, who balances their checkbooks? Like I have an app on my phone and I can just look to see my transactions on my phone. Why are you lecturing me if if I balance my checkbook? I don't even know how to balance a checkbook, to be honest. I know how to write a check, obviously, but I don't know how to balance a check, checkbook. I, I don't, you're telling me I gotta write everything down? How do you even balance a checkbook? That's what I'm saying. I was like, I don't do that. I mean, no judgment to anybody here who does balance their checkbook. I. I just don't want to. Uh, 
Um, I'm having surgery. Are you streaming Saturday? Because it's the day I have surgery. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear you're having surgery. I don't stream on Saturday, but I'll be on, on Monday. That's old school. If you use a debit card, that's impossible. Yeah, I don't really know. Like, I really, I don't know how it works balancing a checkbook. I think I learned, like, in school one time and my brain doesn't remember. I do an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rereading some messages. Oh, Mally, that's awesome. That's great news. Checkbook checkbooks are still a thing. Apparently, to my dad, when he owned his business, which just last year, he was balancing a checkbook. But that makes more sense to me because, like, that's a business account. And, like, you know, you're not balancing, like, me going to McDonald's and buying, like, a McFlurry or something. Like, it's... They're bigger things on the line. So, I don't know. <laughs> For real, though. My phone just tells me. I just check my bank account, like, almost every day. And I'm like, okay, nothing looks suspicious. We're good to go. My school, I think, I I can't remember when it was. It was either elementary school or middle school, but we learned how to like write checks. And they gave us like fake checks and we would like r write on them. But yeah, I don't remember when it was. Also, my dad gave me some grief okay, because- Oh my god, Kat, hey, welcome in. It's being sorry and running, I don't know her. Hey, Kat, I hope you're doing well. Um, also, my dad gave me grief because I don't write in cursive on my checks. He was like, this is like, he was like watching me write a check. And I was like, you don't have to write in cursive on a check. He was like, yeah, you do. I'm like, I literally been writing, because I have to write a check to um, pay off my rent every single month. They require checks. It's really annoying. And I'm like, I've been doing this for five years. I don't write in cursive on my checks. And they've always taken them. You, It's not a requirement to write in cursive form on a check. And to be honest, I don't... I never write in cursive. Like, I think I can still do it, but I just don't do it. I also have really bad handwriting. Keeping a checkbook is especially helpful when you give tips give tips out via debit card. Tips won't usually show up in the bank account. That's true. Like sometimes when you get gas, it'll either say like a dollar. That always threw me off. I'm like, why does it say a dollar? Or yeah, when you tip at a restaurant, it doesn't say it until after. I hate when I look at my bank app and it groups my spending and sees how much I spend on food. It's like it'll break down um, everything you spend on. You're like, okay, you spent, you know, $300 on fast food in your month. And you're like, what? That wasn't me. What do you mean $300? <laughs> that actually isn't me though. <laughs> Corn and Jade Slayer, thank you for those follows. School stopped teaching people how to write in cursive. Did they, Ivy? Oh my gosh, I'm sure the older people are just so mad about that. They're like, this generation doesn't even know how to use cursive handwriting. You know, you know they're upset about it. Just got settled in from work in a new area of the lab, so my brain feels overfilled with new info, but happy to be able to catch a stream. How are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. I'm, I'm feeling like kind of sick today. I'm not gonna lie. But um, thank you for asking, and I hope your job's going well. I know the first couple of days of anything new can feel very overwhelming, so please take care of yourself. My parents spent like three months on rent without signing checks. It was so funny. <laughs> Wait, they didn't sign it? Oh my gosh. I only write in Comic Sans. Same. <laughs> Oh, Mally coming in with the facts. So it's best not to write in cursive. Oh, yes, I do sign my name in cursive handwriting. 
I feel like that's a thing everybody does, right? I could be wrong. Does anybody here sign their name on a check not in cursive? That's the only thing I do. I loved cursive. I never had great handwriting, so... Like, I was always really envious of people who had just, like, gorgeous handwriting. And as much as I could try to, like, make my handwriting look better, it just doesn't... It just doesn't look good. My boyfriend signs his name in print in all caps. Okay. So you can do it on a check. No joke, my grade did cursive for one year and then, then the school was the most of the money for the grade was for books and cursive. Maybe that's why they stopped. Interesting. It's a trap for some most useful information ever. Thank you for that hydrate, um, K Crossing. I got a train in all the areas of the lab so I'll be fully able to work in my own in November. That's so exciting. Yes, it's like this this lingering um, cough is horrible. And it only gets worse and worse at night. I felt bad. I've been ditching out on a lot of friends hanging out because I'm just like, I get so to a certain point of the night. I'm like, I just can't talk anymore. My throat hurts too much. Mally, thank you so much for the host. Okay, this transition area looks a little bit better. I don't know if I'm gonna put anything here. Let me see. Also, if I get a letter in a cursive, I make my parents read it because I can't understand it. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I'll get like cards in the mail from family members and they write the whole thing in cursive and I'm like, I can't read this, like this is really really bad handwriting I'm not like trying to be rude or anything but i'm just like this isn't good and cat thank you so much for hosting okay i need your storefront same i'm not trying to be same i get it can't see a thing I'm doing. Pietro's like, can you please let me out? He's trapped at the play. Can't really see that, but it's okay. I'm gonna put two candles up there. Back to work. Thank you for the such the comfy stream. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm so honored. Ooh, no, we should put these up here. Anybody who's like lurking, hanging out, much appreciated. I am gonna have a shorter stream today because I'm just like not feeling it and tomorrow's gonna be a longer stream. I mean, I can't funny. Why is it not working? And I gotta get ready for the cosplay. Why is this being so weird? Oh, I'm putting the wrong item up. That's why. There we go. I think I hit over on accident. I was like, why is it not working? I love these like gothic throwback mirrors. I think they look really cool on the pillars. Ralphie, hey! Hey, Olive. Hey, hey, Ralphie, thank you so much for the 11 months. Oh my gosh, almost a whole year. Ralphie, I always appreciate all the support, you popping in. I know you're always working and I really do appreciate it. What the heck? Let's go! That's a huge anniversary. Look, 
He's singing up there. He's like, please let me out. Please let me out. <laughs> Taking my mind off for work. Of course. Oh my gosh. I'm honored. Truly, truly honored. Okay, this area's looking like it's like kind of finished off. Maybe we put another tiki torch. Boom. Maybe one over. There needs to be something else here. I don't know exactly like, let's look at my map. So I wanna make a grand castle where the king and queen are and they'll be in the builds. And the queen is Becky and the king is going to be Elvis who doesn't live here yet. He'll be eventually coming to the island. So I'm like, do I make the giant castle like, you know, like there's here. So where residents, <laughs> where resident services is, should we put it behind resident services? We'll have to terraform the river out, which I'm okay with. It's gonna, it's just gonna be a giant build. It might be the perfect spot, honestly. There's a lot of land right there. Yeah, this is for, the, this is gonna be like the main castle on the building. So let's go move Nook's Cranny. And maybe we can get a better idea what we're working with. Hey, Lemon, welcome in. The museum should be in the castle because kings and queens have all their pets. I thought about putting um, the castle or the museum as part of the castle. I think I might make that different because I, I really want the king and queen to live in the castle. But we'll have we'll definitely have something for the museum. Let's move the shop. Does anybody know when the shop will be upgraded? Because I kind of don't want the shop to upgrade. But it hasn't happened. Do you have to spend a certain amount of money? I'm like kind of afraid to buy things out of the shop. I've been kind of like ignoring it. Because the, um, the shop before it gets upgraded looks more like my theme. I'm not 100% sure if I just got here. I just got to do chores and boom, Animal Crossing. Okay, you either maybe came through the Shibby raid or the Allison raid, but Lady Danger, welcome in. Oh, Mads, you don't have to apologize. Don't apologize. <laughs> My cough is getting so bad right now. I think I might have to plot this down and end stream. AL, hey, welcome in. How's it going? Let's like move it up here somewhere. Dungeon Girl, thank you so much for that follow. right here this is the spot okay i'm sorry to like wrap up a stream early um i just want to make sure like i'm feeling okay for tomorrow so i'm not gonna push myself anymore to stream um, but let's go over here. Um, we do have, let me pull it up. This going on tomorrow. I'm going to be in Isabel cosplay. So if you want to check out my stream, 1 PM Eastern time around the same time I went live today, and I'm going to be touring all of the builds that people built for this challenge. It's going to be really, really, really awesome. 
So please, please, please come hang out. I am going to find someone to raid really quickly. But thank you guys so much for today. Let me get my credits rolling too. Um, you guys seriously make my day every single time I stream. And I'm forever, ever grateful for that. And thank you guys for being my friend and hanging out. And thank you for all of the subs. All of the subs today. We had so many resub anniversaries. And the gifted subs and all the bits. Thank you so, so much. And the raids from Allison and Shibby. And all the manual hosts. Okay, let me see here. Do, 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 do. You know what would be fun? We could go raid Cass. Cass raided us the other day. Um, they are working on their island. I think it's Winnie the Pooh City Core. It looks really, really cool. Um, but yeah, let's go say hi. We love raiding new people. Okay, let's get these raid messages going. So the Olive Jar raid is for followers and Olive Jar Explosion is for subbies. Winnie the Pooh, that's cute, right? It looks really cool. I can't wait for you guys to see this, but everybody give Cass all the love. Be kind. I know you'll be kind, but... And I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Okay, sounds good. Love you guys dearly. Bye, 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 bye.